Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I know I probably look hella tired right now and that's because it is super early. Um, I actually just dropped Gianna off at school and I just pulled up to my lash appointment. So as you can see, it's time for a fill, like <laughs> way past time. I actually had an appointment last week, but my girl canceled on me because she was sick and she was like, I don't want to get you sick especially because you're pregnant. And I'm like, girl, I appreciate you. Okay, ain't nobody got time to be sick with this big old baby. <laughs> but aside from that, um, if you watched my last vlog, then you know that I was talking about how hard it's been for me to sleep. So on top of me needing a lash fill, which already makes me look tired, <laughs> um, I just have not been sleeping well. Like these bags have just become a permanent part of my life that I've accepted <laughs> um, and why is he talking so loud but yeah so I am 30 weeks pregnant and my belly is at like a I feel like this is like a 34 week belly and that's because this baby is four pounds like what how 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 are you already four pounds baby boy I don't understand <laughs> so um yeah with all of those pieces put together i haven't been sleeping well hence i said all of that to say that's why i look like this but um yeah i was getting a few questions on like how i've been keeping up with my maintenance like my lashes my brows my nails so i thought that's what i would do this week was take you guys along with me because i have all of those appointments booked up this week um so yeah let me get in here before i'm considered late wait there's nobody here Oh, here she comes. Good morning. I was like, am I early? All right. Well, all done. That was quick and easy. I think that was like right at an hour, which was perfect. Um, I know I said I was going to vlog, but then... <laughs> so I don't know if I've ever mentioned this on my channel but I deal with some pretty bad anxiety especially when it comes to getting my lashes done like no situation gives me more anxiety than giving getting my lashes done which is crazy because I've been getting them done for like mm, seven years now probably since like 2013 and I'm telling you there has not been a single appointment in those seven years that hasn't triggered my anxiety every single time never fails so when i got in there i was like about to film and then i just i had to put my phone down because i have like a specific routine that um kind of like helps me stay calm and i was too nervous to like mess it up so i like had to put my phone down i was like mm, nope mm -mm. so um yeah i had to take my ponytail down because my bun was in the way but this is my fill looks pretty good here they don't really have or i haven't found anybody that has the length that i like so you guys know i usually come on here with my lashes like super long like up to my eyebrows um i usually get like 15 16 17s as far as length and the longest that i've been able to find which is why i come to her is 16s and she like special ordered those for me because I asked if she could get them and even that I feel like the curl that they use here um, I think it's a D curl or double D curl um, is even more curly than I normally like them so it makes them seem even shorter but you know hey when in Rome so let me show you guys this neighborhood that I'm in. So right here in this building is where I get my lashes done. Um, and then this is the neighborhood. So here in Tel Aviv, everything is kind of broken up into neighborhoods. I guess kind of like New York, if you've ever been to New York, like the neighborhoods are really broken up into small blocks. So like this whole little community would be considered a neighborhood. Um, and it has this little grocery store in here. Let's see if I find anything. Sometimes I like to come in here because they have like some American stuff. These Doritos. 
do not like, you would think these are like the Salsa Verde Doritos, the, I don't even know what kind of Doritos these are, but they're not, they taste completely different. All these different Fanta flavors, I think I'm gonna get one. Grapefruit, I don't know if that would be good. Maybe I'll try it. I don't even drink soda, but these look special. Oh my gosh, what is it? A blue Fanta? What is this? The new new. Q likes these, so I'm gonna get him maybe like two. I think that's it. I don't really see anything else. <laughs> this is so pregnant and so American of me right now. So it just dawned on me that some of you, if not a lot of you, probably deal with anxiety because it's super common. So I know some of you may be curious as to what it is that I do to keep calm during my lash appointment. So for me, what triggers me is the lack of control. You know, they like, well, if you don't know, when you get your lashes done, they kind of like tape your eyes closed. <laughs> And you can't open your eyes until the appointment is over. Like if you open your eyes, the chemicals could get in your eyes. You could go blind. I'm just kidding. I don't think you can go blind, but like you cannot open your eyes. They do not stress that enough. So that part, the not having control part is what triggers my anxiety. So I do as much as I can to have control in other areas, I guess you could say. So first I like, <laughs> I hope this doesn't sound excessive. I like take off my jacket, I take off my shoes. I always wear a short sleeve shirt because I notice that the cooler I am, the less likely I am to have an anxiety attack, which I have had plenty of anxiety attacks in the times that I've gotten my lashes done. Then I put on my AirPods and I listen to the exact same playlist like every single appointment. It has not changed in the last few years. Like I don't add new music to it. It's a chill playlist with the same songs. That way, even though I can't open my eyes, if I know the appointment is supposed to last an hour, I can tell by which song I'm at in the playlist about how long I have to go. Meditate, I focus on my breathing, and I know that might sound like a lot to some people, but I've just never been one of those people that is like, oh, it gives me anxiety, I just, I'm not gonna do it. Like, no, I love having my lashes done. So I figured out a way to kind of cope with it and you know come up with my own thing that works so i don't know if that helps you guys so i'm headed home now um this is probably like five minutes from my house but as you guys can see like there are not a lot of houses here everybody pretty much lives in a high rise or like apartment building um and again like all of these are different neighborhoods so yeah, and if you go down this street, maybe like two minutes is the beach. So we live probably like seven minutes from the beach, which is really nice. It's like 10 o'clock now. So I'm hoping when I get home, Q is already up. So we can maybe go get some breakfast or something before he has practice. Um, Cause your girl is starving, okay? I think I redid my bun crooked. Whoop couples that Nike fit together, stay together. I got my little basket so we can go to the grocery store after we have breakfast. There's like a little breakfast restaurant across the street. I'm telling y'all, I'm up here like every day for something different. Gianna and I are dressed. Say hey, boo-boo. You 
can see where she clearly touches the mirror. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're dressed to head to King's Game. So I just threw on a t-shirt, my favorite Prego leggings. Bumping something serious today. Um, look, show them your shoes. So we got Vans on. We got Vans on. <laughs> um, Gianna went to school earlier. Let me see, come here. Gianna went to school earlier, so luckily she already kind of was dressed. Her hair was combed. I just had to tighten it up a bit. It's actually my first time doing my makeup in like all of 2020 probably. <laughs> so um, yeah, I just threw on some concealer, um, some bronzer, no foundation. Did my brows because y'all know my brows need some help. Um, and yeah, no baby, be careful. So yeah, anyways. We better go. We're gonna meet one of my friends downstairs to catch a cab to the game. And then, um, yeah, I will see you there. Daddy. Yeah, we're going to see Daddy. Are you excited? You gonna say, go Daddy. 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 <laughs> Come on. Daddy. off your makeup it's the best feeling ever what's up guys so it's the next day and it's my I think my vlog probably cut short yesterday after the game but we did win it was a great game Q played great sorry if it's loud um, but right now I'm finally headed to get my nails done and I cannot wait because you see the growth. You can see they're super grown out, but I loved this like design or look that she gave me last time, but I don't want to get the same thing, but I want something similar, something simple, but still cute. So we'll see. Hello.
trying to pick a color. Mm. Oh, that one's pretty. I think it might be this one. Okay guys, so I just finished up. Sorry if you hear my car like humming. It does that. I don't know what, what that's all about. But um, yeah, I just finished up um, and I am obsessed. Like you can't see them good right here. I'll insert a photo. But um, she killed it. Like always, like I was literally watching her as I was filming just in awe because I'm pretty sure as long as I've been getting my nails done, she is my favorite nail tech. And I don't understand why I had to come halfway across the world to Israel to find the best nail tech in the game. <laughs> like, I am so happy with them. It was definitely worth like all of the inconvenience. Okay, so there are obviously pros and cons to um, getting my nails done here. I'll start with the cons. Number one con is this particular nail tech I found her on Instagram I was like scouring like all of the hashtags Tel Aviv nail tech Tel Aviv nails Tel Aviv you know like that whole thing and I found her her Instagram's amazing but it's just kind of really inconvenient so one she only accepts cash I never have cash so unless by some magical circumstance I have cash in my wallet I almost always have to walk like three blocks to the nearest ATM because I always forget to take cash out and now that I think about it my eyelash tech only takes cash too so maybe that's like a thing here and then two the parking the parking is awful so her salon is like in the middle of the city so think like downtown parking in a major city like I either have to find street parking which is nearly impossible or for the most part I have to park in the nearest parking garage or parking lot and then walk like a few blocks to her salon and then number three I'm gonna be talking with my hands a lot now because my nails are done they look good <laughs> um, but number three is she's so hard to get an appointment with like if I text her guaranteed her soonest appointment isn't gonna be for at least two weeks and if I think to text you like, hey, when can I come in? That means my nails already need to be done. Like I'm already at the limit. <laughs> and then you tell me another two weeks, I'm like, sis, like you ain't got nothing. Na you ain't got Nathan. So um, yeah, it's kind of inconvenient, but she does amazing work. So obviously the work speaks for itself and that's like all the pros that I need she hand painted this design so number one pro is I can literally just show her a picture of what I want and she literally nails it she doesn't speak English like at all so um, that's really how we communicate is I show her a picture and she just does it exactly like the picture which is perfect why is this so dusty goodness Jessica <laughs> Oh, it's not dust. And then two is her technique. Like, look at my cuticles. They look so clean. She really focuses on them, like spends so much time cleaning up my cuticles. And then this is the first time I've ever seen anybody, like she paints a coat of polish and then she pushes the cuticle back again so that when she puts on the second coat, the polish is getting as far down into your cuticle as possible. And then she just files them down. I don't know, y'all. She just makes them look so natural. These are my natural nails, like no tips or anything. But they just look so good. Another thing that she does that I've never experienced before is she uses this stuff called Builder Gel. Let me know if you guys have ever tried it um, or like heard of it back in the States, but I haven't. Um, so I've been wearing my natural nails probably since I was pregnant with Gianna. So like... I don't know three years now maybe back home I normally get dip powder to go on top of my natural nails here they don't have dips so I get this stuff called builder gel which basically is like a, it's like a gel polish it's a clear gel polish that they put on top of your nail and then it hardens once you put it in the UV light and the thing that I didn't like about wearing my natural nails at first was my set never looked as crisp 
as an acrylic set. Like y'all know those acrylic sets be hitting like so crisp. The shape is like perfect. My natural nails would never come out like that. But this is the first time, and I'm pretty sure it's the Builder Gel that does it, that makes my natural nails look like an acrylic set. Like just as fresh, just as crisp. They don't get dull around the edges, no nothing. So anyways, what's up Grams? Yeah, so I'm going to pick up Gianna from school and then probably go to the grocery store, run a few errands, but I will catch up with you guys later. Gage, come say hi. Uh, we just got home from picking her up from school. She has a little attitude right now. I guess she had a long day. Sis had a long day. <laughs> She's bringing her toys out here. We're just hanging out on our patio. I don't think I've ever showed you guys um, our patio slash balcony area. So we're just hanging out. She brought me her snack <laughs> to hold, I guess. Um, it's a lot prettier in the like daytime, morning time. The sun is going down now. This girl. Uh oh. But they're doing construction next door, so like all of this is so dusty. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but so dusty because all of the dirt and debris just like kind of blows over onto our space so we haven't been coming out here as much but i really like it in the morning it's like so nice and peaceful Gigi likes to come out here and drive her little car around anyway q is out of town they left to istanbul um this afternoon because they play there tomorrow so it's just me and Gigi tonight i'm trying to figure out if i feel like cooking dinner or are we going to order in Hmm. I don't know. I kind of want pizza. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Gianna. <laughs> Why you got all these heels on? <laughs> Where are you going tonight, girl? You need help? Those are not for you. Those are for mommy. You want to wear some heels? You ready for school, baby? What you doing? Trying to zip your jacket up? <laughs> good morning. Say good morning. No? Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. <laughs> So it is Friday and we are headed to drop Gianna off at school. So um, I was actually getting a lot of questions about Gianna's school. Like, does she go to Hebrew school? Does she go to English school? Um, that kind of stuff. Is it a daycare or whatever? So she actually goes to a Montessori school and it's an international school. So um, yes, they do speak Hebrew, but like the main language is English because there are families like literally from all over the world. Um, that go to the school, which is, why are you growling at me? What did I do to you? <laughs> but that's the main reason we chose this school is because um, I didn't want her to be like the only foreigner at her school. Also, some of Q's teammates' kids um, go to that school too, so it's nice for them to have like you know that camaraderie like see the same kids in school and outside of school and um, it's a Montessori school so if you're not familiar with like the Montessori method yes baby yes baby you want me to stop talking is that what it is <laughs> so in short the Montessori method is a lot different than traditional school instead of like having different subjects that they teach um, or different like centers or anything like that. It's more about letting the kid lead. So whatever the child is interested in, um, they kind of let them take the lead on it versus like, okay, from nine to 10, we do story time. From 10 to 11, we do numbers. Like if 
Gianna is um, in their little music session and it's time to go outside. If she doesn't want to go outside, one of the teachers will stay in the music class and continue to let her explore and play. Um, and <laughs> she's mocking me. And then when she's ready to join everybody else outside, then they'll go outside. They also do a bunch of different activities that they don't normally do in school. So like I said, they have music class where they actually have drums and pianos and tambourines and um, all the, these real instruments. Um, they cook, like today, every Friday, um, they cook traditional challah, which is like Jewish bread that you eat for Shabbat dinner on Fridays. So they actually make it at school, the kids help, and then they get to bring a loaf of bread home for Shabbat dinner. Um, so it's like just little things like that. Uh, they have like an outdoor space, they have, um, they clean up, they teach them how to like put their clothes on, um, brush their teeth. So uh, we really like it. And normally she only goes Sunday through Thursday. And even one of those days, she usually ends up staying home with me. Um, but the school is open on Friday for half day before Shabbat. But she usually doesn't go because by the time school lets out at noon, by the time I drop her off at 9.30, pick her up at noon, it's like, it's really not worth it. But today I wanna get some work done um, at a little coffee shop around the corner from her school. So I'm gonna drop her off, let her play for like, two and a half hours while I get some stuff done and then pick her up and then we'll just hang out for the rest of the day. You ready? Yay! Yeah, you gonna make bread at school today? Hmm? <laughs> at school? Mmm, <laughs> is it good? Can mommy have a bite? Mmm, that is good. It's still warm. After that, you're going to take a nap, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nap. Okay? Can I have a kiss? I missed you. Even though you were only there for like two hours. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're actually about to head out. Gianna is so cool, way cooler than me. She has a play date for later this afternoon. Um, and then we're actually going to get together with some of the other wives and kids and watch the guys game tonight because they're playing away and then they come home after the game. So by the time we watch the game, come home, I'll probably clean up a bit and wait for him to get home. And that'll be it, right? Daddy's coming home tonight. Where's Daddy? Daddy. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy go. Yeah, where did he go? Daddy, Daddy. Say, come home right now. <laughs> so I feel like this is probably a good stopping place for this week's vlog. I feel like I probably did a lot of talking, so if so, my bad, <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe before you go and okay, I gotta go, see you guys later.